find the 1314th digit for 5 by 14 one thing after decimal find the 1314th digit after decimal for the fraction 5 by 14 find the 1314th digit after decimal for 5 by 14 now listen carefully seems like they will not solve first of all 14 is a combination of 2 and 7 right only 2 or only 5 or power of 2 and 5 it is a terminating so definitely it is a recurring decimal definitely it is a recurring decimal definitely it is a recurring decimal 5 by 14 these 5 by 7 into 1 by 2. 5 by 7 into 1 by 2. I hope the idea it is clear. So if I multiply by 5, this will be 25 by 7 into 1 by 10. Are you all with me? 25 it is 3 plus 7, 3 is are 21. 3 plus 4 by 7, 1 by 10 is 0.1. 1 by 10 is 0.1. After dot 1 digit we got... 3 plus 4 by 7. 3 plus 4 by 7. Already we discussed. If the denominator is 7, it will go in a multiple of 4 by 7. I already told you a shortcut in ratios. 1 by 7 is 14.2857. 6 digits will get repeated. I want 4 by 7. 4 tens are 40. 7 goes how many times in 40? 5 times it will go. Where is the 5 here? Write down this 5 and the next digit. Dot the remaining digits in serial order. 4 by 7. Take the numerator 4. 4 tens are 40. 7 goes how many times in 40? 5 times. Where is the 5? This one and the next digit. The same 6 digits will get repeated. That means 3 plus 4 by 7. It is 3 plus 0.571428. These 6 digits only will get repeated. 3 plus 571428. Already 1 digit over. So out of 1314th digit, 1 digit got over. Remaining which digit we have to find? 1313 digit we have to find. 1313 digit we have to find. Why? Because after dot 1 digit came. Here in point 0.1, one digit came in point 0.1, 1313, one six digits it will get repeated. So it is a 6 into, 6 twos are 12, 11, 6 ones are 7, 53, 6 eights are 48, 5, fifth digit I require, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, these loop of 6 digits will get repeated. 5th digit I require. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5th digit I require. Answer it is 2. Answer it is 2. Most of the students will not solve this question thinking that it's a difficult question. But actually it's an easy question. If you understand the concept, a fraction will get converted into terminating recurring. For terminating when it will be only power of 2, only power of 5 or powers of 2 and 5. Recurring when it will be, it depends upon denominator. If it is P, maximum number of digits it will be P minus 1. If it is P power K, in P power K into 1 minus 1 by P. If it is 2 or 3 powers of prime basis, take the LCM of 2 or 3 powers of prime basis. I hope the idea it is clear. Now we can solve this question. See this question. If 3 by n has a recurring decimal, now tell me, recurring decimal, what do you mean by recurring decimal? Recurring decimal is total values minus if I take terminating decimal, minus if I take terminating decimal, I will get a recurring decimal. Am I right? Total values. Now, if you see here, I'll just give you an idea. I am a firm believer of giving ideas to the students so that they will build on that ideas. 3 by n, it is a recurring decimal. 3 by n, it is a recurring decimal. 3 by n, it is a recurring decimal. So, it is nothing but total minus, total values minus the fraction where it is giving terminating. Where it is giving terminating. I will get the answer. Total values are 100. 
100 minus when it will give terminating decimal when the denominator it is only power of 2 or only power of 5 numerator there is 3 so that 3 also should get cancelled 3 power c 3 power c so c should be less than or equivalent to 1 am i right a and b are greater than or equivalent to 0 why I took A and B as greater than or equivalent to 0, C less than or equivalent to 1. If C equivalent to 2, I will get 9. 3 by 9, 1 by 3. Denominator, it is a prime number. It will get into an recurring decimal. I am doing terminating decimal. So, answer is 100 minus 2 power A into 5 power B into 3 power C. It can take 2 power 0, 2 power 1 till 2 power 6. It can take 5 power 0, 5 power 1, 5 power 2. 5 cube it cannot take. It can take 3 power 0, 3 power 1. 3 power 1. I hope the idea it is clear. So 0, 2, 6, 7 combinations. 0, 2, 2, 3 combinations. 0, 2, 1, 2 combinations. 7, 3s are 21. 21, 2s are 42. 42 cases are there which will give terminating. So, total minus terminating decimal, I will get a recurring decimal. Total minus terminating, I will get a recurring decimal. I hope the concept is clear. Every slide, it spoke about 111 concept. What did we do? Again, I am repeating. Final time. First, I have seen a fraction. Next, I have seen the keyword recurring decimal. That means this question is based on a recurring decimal fraction to recurring decimal conversion. So, I thought of discussing three things with you. Recurring decimal, terminating decimal and fractions. Then I discussed what is a fraction. Then I discussed what is a fraction. What is the difference between a fraction as well as a rational number. Fraction plus integers it is a rational number. In fraction there is a proper fraction. There is an improper fraction. Improper fraction can be converted into proper fraction. By doing this is also called as a mixed fraction. Then in proper fraction. In proper fraction. Proper fraction can be converted into terminating decimal or non-terminating decimal. Terminating decimal. A fraction will be converted into a terminating decimal only if the denominator it is a only power of 2, only power of 2 or power of 5 or combinations of or powers of 2 and 5. This is the only case where a fraction will result in a terminating decimal. Terminating means it will end. After dot how many digits it will end. N digits after decimal if it is only power of 2. N digits after decimal only power of 5. 2 and 5 take the maximum value. So other than 2 and 5 everything else will give a recurring decimal other than 2 and 5. It will give repetition. So, three cases will come other than 2 and 5. Denominator can be a prime number. Denominator can be a single power of prime number or a multiple powers of a prime number. Three cases. This is a very, very important theorem. All these are taken from Fermat's little theorem. Very, very important, sir. Formats a little theorem. This is the beauty of our concept based sessions where we will discuss in detail the concepts. I hope the idea it is clear.